four different videos. So in this we were supposed to have four different trials with different factors. So our first trial was a low amplitude, a small amplitude with a low frequency. Our second test was having a small amplitude with a high frequency. Our third one was having a large amplitude with a low frequency. And our fourth test was to have a large amplitude with a high frequency. So in our test just now we were supposed to determine which trial had the most energy output and we decided that the large amplitude high frequency one had the most energy as Ian's hand which is over Ian's over there he had um, his hand shook the most as a result from the energy and the smallest one we determined was the low amplitude and the low frequency because it in like a longer time period there were less waves and also the amplitude was small so it was less energy carrying with which the wave was carrying Okay, very little now it's attention. Bit of tension. Hi, so just now we were taking a look at the effect of tension on the slinkies and so we found that if you increase the tension for the slinky that also increases the speed as shown in our videos just now. So next let's take a look at amplitude. Low amplitude. This has the same frequency as trial 1, and we are doing a large amplitude. Same frequency, and we're doing large amplitude now. Amplitude, small amplitude. Just now we did um, tests with amplitude and see if it had any effect on the speed of the wave. But as the results show, we had the same frequency, but the amplitude did not affect the speed of the wave itself, although it did affect the vertical displacement. Now let's take a look at what happens when we have a superposition, when two opposite waves travel in uh, opposite towards each other. Okay. Right now, there is a small, there is a low tension. One way 